Hey guys, it's Handman UK here. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope all your ants are doing good. Mine are doing good. I check on them every now and again. But today I wanted to um, discuss do queen ants have wings? I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to search Google, right? So when I search Google, I'm like, oh, common ant questions. What are people asking? I want to know what people are asking about. You get a lot of people who are unsure about ants and they ask a lot of questions. And today we're going to cover obviously, do queen ants have wings? That's a common question that's being asked. Okay, so let's take it from the very beginning. Okay, in a colony, the queen, before she's a queen, she's a princess. She's a princess of the colony. There's thousands of them, hundreds, hundreds of thousands in the colony. They're all, they've, they've, they all have wings at this point. Okay, so it gets to the mating season, which is probably between June and September. It always depends on the species of ant. And during this time, she will leave the colony to mate with a winged male who is slightly smaller than the queen and then once she is finished mating she will land on the floor usually start looking around for somewhere she can start a colony in uh, I don't know like a hole or she may dig into the soil and she wants to find someone to start a colony so then majority of the time she'll remove her wings for extra fats and proteins to survive the hibernation season because it's towards the end of the summer that they mate majority of the times they won't lay eggs and they'll just want to go straight into hibernation season until after hibernation come out of hibernation and start laying their eggs but on rare occasions you can catch some queens that are running around on the floor or flying around still and they still have the wings um this is a queen in the video here this is some old footage of mine this is a winged laziest niger queen that i found in my garden uh, I think this was this good about maybe two years now and she managed to raise a successful colony without having to actually remove her wings so I assume I've been trying to look around on some information but everyone's got different opinions about it I assume that she had enough fats and proteins to get her through hibernation so she didn't feel the need to have to eat or remove her wings for the extra proteins that's what I think but other people might think differently, okay? There might be other reasons. Maybe you guys know other things or know other reasons why some of them keep their wings. I'd like to hear about it. You can drop a, a comment below. Well, anyway, guys, this is the latest footage of my latest Niger Queen. Uh, one I caught in summertime in my back garden. She's still doing great. Those eggs are... I don't, what are they turning into? I'm sure they're turning into larvae now. Or have they gone past larvae stage? I can't remember because I don't check on her that often. I like to just let them get on with it. But anyway, guys, I hope I, that sort of helps in a way. Um, if you want some more information about it, I did write an article on my website, antkeeping.co.uk, about do queen ants do have wings. Um, but some of you guys might have a different perspective on why the queens sometimes keep their wings. And I hope it helps newcomers as well anyway guys thank you for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and please comment below i always answer comments i try my best i i literally sit there with my phone in my hand and i'm like as i hear it go to do i'm like oh youtube comment i'll answer that so i'm always about and i'm always willing to answer your questions anyway thanks for watching and take care goodbye